Welcome back to episode 21. Now I'm not going to beat around the bush. This episode is entitled Fitting the Tour Board and in one sense it is fitted. But I have to be honest with myself and say this is a terrible job. It looks really unprofessional and I don't think it's safe and I'll try and explain why. If you remember from the last episode I forgot to remove the paint. The first job was to get it back to bare metal and add weld through primer. Now because I wasn't great at welding, I used a scrap bonnet and I cut it down into strips to give me some pieces to practice on. I literally did hundreds of practice welds and really struggled, although a few didn't actually look too bad. I also swapped the CO2 for the argon mix and that really helped. But eventually I just had to go for it while the weather was nice and dry. And that's when I ran into a multitude of problems. I had problems getting the panels to fit tight and resorted to scrap pieces of wood to hold things together which kept setting on fire every time I hit it with a welder. I also unexpectedly ended up in hospital with heart problems and it left me feeling very weak and I was struggling to even lift things like the welder without help. I was just generally lacking in confidence and it started to show in my work. The welding was terrible and I just seemed to be welding then grinding it back off and then starting the whole process again like Groundhog Day. I even tried changing the wire for a thinner core which did seem to help a little but that's when I realised that the regulator was leaking and had lost the entire contents of the gas bottle. The wind was making it impossible to weld properly despite the fact that I was now under a gazebo and the sun was making it difficult to see what I was doing as the visor kept on automatically tinting. I ground that much weld off that the metal just felt thin and weak and it was becoming a really unprofessional looking job. I was trying everything that I could think of to get it looking right but I was so disappointed in the work that I'd done. Having just returned from hospital, on medication and feeling really stressed, tired and weak, I just felt that I didn't have it in me to do it anymore. Now I can't blame it all on my health either, it was just poor workmanship and that's no excuse. I just didn't have the skill set to weld the car. I even gave it one last ditch attempt but I failed yet again. So I ended up giving Dennis a call from Classic and Retro Restorations, who you may remember from the early episodes. We had a really good long chat and taken my recent health issues into consideration, as well as my lack of welding skills. We decided that it's probably in the best interest of the car that it's going to go back to Dennis to have the bodywork issues sorted professionally. Now I am embarrassed to have to admit failure, but the most important thing to me is that this car not only looks great, but it's safe. And with my welding, it's just not going to be either. The car is going to be collected shortly in the next few weeks and Dennis has kindly offered to take regular photos and video progress so I can keep updating the channel and in the meantime I can get on with building up both subframes and getting on with the engine so that when the body comes back I'll be able to make some good progress. I also need to look at sorting out the wiring loom and making some decisions about the interior. But it's a bit of a step backwards for me but I guess in one sense it's a giant leap forward for Smugwood Mini. Dennis is absolutely brilliant at what he does and he's restored dozens of minis so I know it's now in good hands. These cars are such a challenge and I'm really looking forward to working on the rest of the car while the body's in for welding. The difficulties have given me huge respect for each and every person who's taken on a mini project and seen it through to the end because they're very hard, require so many different skills and there's so much to learn along the way. Now I've still a long way to go with this and still a lot of work to do so it's time to crack on and get everything ready for when Dennis picks the car up and it's looking like the next job I'll be sorting is a rear subframe.
Prior to making the videos on YouTube, I worked as a firefighter for nearly 20 years, serving my community and helping to save lives and promote the fire safety message. Unfortunately, an accumulation of many upsetting scenes became too much for my mind to cope with, and after years of failed therapy, I was retired from the service on the grounds of ill health and signed off medically from any employment. To keep myself busy, both body and mind, I developed an interest in woodworking and car mechanics, and with already having a hobby in filming and music, I combined my interest and started making videos here on YouTube, filming, editing and composing my own music for my woodworking and car restoration channels Smugwood and Smugwood Mini. Unfortunately, to produce such videos comes at a price, and with minimal funds after being retired from employment, I've turned to Patreon to see if there's additional support out there which could allow me to continue making the woodworking and car restoration videos. In return for support, there are various levels which are explained in more depth at the Patreon link below, but includes the chance to win one of my YouTube projects made throughout the year, and also inclusion into random prize draws open to patrons only. In addition, I'd like to thank everybody who already subscribes to my channels, or watches, comments, likes and shares them as it all goes to help support my channels, and for that I'm really appreciative. It's my hope that I can continue making the videos for the foreseeable future. Thanks once again for your continued support.